Hello guys. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about managers because a lot of people just don't know what managers to get. A few of them actually are not possible to get anymore, such as vanilla that you're going to see in a lot of ideal manager position. So you got to actually know that some of them can't be obtained. If you were even to look at mine, you're going to see that these two trainers cannot be obtained normally. Uh, they're uh, Eve and Selena, and those two are always considered premium. And uh, you can only get if you do some purchase event or some sort of special point event. They're very hard to get. And uh, sometimes they have some very nice bonuses, sometimes they don't. The only rule is you can't have two of them at the same time meaning two Eves or two Selenas. Having both different ones at the same time is fine. Now, if we're going to look at it, on the sponsor side, it's very clear, at least in my eyes it is. The first one you're going to want, everyone's going to tell you to get, is Lucy. Why do we care about Lucy? Okay, she looks nice with a mic, and she's pretty cute, but no, that's not the reason. Yes, I know for some people that's enough. The first thing is going to be, she's going to give you 450 gold for each registered friend when you evolve her. That's around 12,000 because the cap is 30 friends currently. It's not that great, but it's it, when you max her out, it's every three hours. It's not bad either. And, you know, no one has ever said we have too much gold. Even till today, I still want more gold. And when you finish doing the basic stuff, you're going to realize the getting legendary stones is actually just a question of gold. So she's very great on that. But the reason she's popular is because she has a stat bonus. It's power and technique, meaning your damage and your reflex. The two things people care about the most. So she's good because actually of her passives. So souping her is extremely important. She is the one and only manager with a lower drop rate in scout, meaning the chances to find her are very low. So you want to try to have at least 1,800 on the side for that miracle day when you're gonna meet her. She is good at all levels of the game and you should never remove her. The second one is always gonna be our friend Peril. Perilla. Okay, she has a funky name. Same thing for the first active. So when you combine both of them, that means that every three hours you're going to show up, you're going to be getting around two, two, 25,000 gold. That is very nice. But she has what I consider as a grinder, the best passive in the game. She gets you an additional player spirit stone with a 14% chance when you win. It doesn't mean she hires your chance of getting something. It means that when you win, you're going to get a chance to get a second card or stone. This is very interesting. In my experience, uh, it always feels like much less than 14%. But when she gets you something, the majority of the time, it's not a two-star. So I would say get her. She's great for farming. So if you were to look at uh, the sponsors, those are great. Now what you're going to want to have are what I consider rotation sponsors. They're not hard to get, they're not powerful. You just want them for their passives and you're going to get rid of them instantly. So what you're going to want is this one right here, uh, AO08 Mal. You can get her from uh, the friendship draw, so no need to invest in her. You're gonna get the five copies, actually six you need to max. You're gonna get them. And why you care is the selling cost. Cause you're gonna equip her right before selling an heiress. And by doing that, you're gonna be getting a hundred K more. So it's pretty decent. And then you just switch her back out. And there's one or two other small managers for selling costs. So that's the thing you're gonna try to, to switch out. Uh, if you want to experiment or you don't own one of these two, um, we have Charlotte, who's actually very good. She does give gold a bit less. She increases game reward gold. So in a way, it's it's really a decent bargain. It, it's around the same amount. But again, she doesn't, to, to be equal to their amount, 
she's lost the second passive who these two have. So she's a backup choice until you get one of these two. Again, these two, you want to soup as fast as you can. Now in the middle, ignoring the fact I possess these, what you're going to really want to look for is you're going to want to look for Geralt. He's going to give you 30 strength every 6 hours when maxed out, who's very nice, especially when you're getting up in the morning saying, I'm going to play 5 minutes, well, you're going to have your 60 and an extra 30. And for those who, for unknown reasons to me, won 9,999 strength, well, actually I think it's capped at 999, he's going to give you more. He's just nice because he gives you a bit more power and a bit more speed again. It's the stats. So again, you want it maxed out. Now for the second one, I personally don't care because of these other players I have. But what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to get... Uh, well, actually, I don't need to search here. The one who's in the friendship draw. So if you go in friendship draw, she is right here, Samuel. You can get her. She gives speed and stamina, and the speed is what people care about her. The stamina means life. So she's very nice. She's a four star. She gives two stats. It's gonna be a bit weaker than a, another five star, but she is, in my eyes, the best second player. The thing is, when you're grinding, you're gonna want to get the best maximization. So you're actually gonna switch her out for Hansa. Mine is not maxed out. But as you see, it already is a strength. So that is very nice too. So for grinding, you can switch her out. And if you really want to grind, uh, it's it, there's also other option. Uh, next two things is, you're going to notice that here we have Marineko. She is considered literally the best manager for noobs. It's, it's not to be insulting in any way, it's because irrelevant of her second passive, who I don't find that great. She hires the chance of gatekeepers, but in itself it lowers the chance of legends. So, you know, it's, it's iffy in my eyes if we want to max her for that. But her active is giving you a stone from 3 to 6 star, and the stone can be rare. Meaning, you know that almighty light reflex stone or and or reflex stone we all want? She can give it to you. And to be honest, the stone matches after rank 30 are very hard. They're gonna start getting easier again after rank 90. And in the meantime, well, where'd you get your stones? So that's where she comes in. All you do is just, you just press use and she's gonna just throw you a random stone. And yeah, in my case, I got a what? A five star. Okay, see, 5 star for a lot of new players would be something epic. In my case, I have better stones on all my players, but they're rare, they're legendary, I, I play with this stuff. And the last one, in my case, is gonna be Ingram. I closely maxed him out when I got him, I, I went a bit crazy. So there's the decreased strength consumption. The first thing you gotta know is he's gonna use the skill of your equipped trainer, but only the main trainer. I know this has been unclear to the entire population. So in this case, imagine there's Geralt, you get 30 strength. And for the strength reduce, at 16%, anything that costs 10 costs 8, because it's averaged. Meaning, after that, it doesn't matter, unless you throw a second strength reducing manager. And when you get endgame, Marineko will be replaced by Sigmund. Why? Because he gives you more max strength. So when you use crystals, when you're just not there, it's nice. And he's going to use the skill of your sponsor. So I, I hope this has helped you guys understand how managers were and the ideal meta of managers. Have a good day.